For the final detail about route handlers, let's talk about caching. While route handlers in Next.js aren't cached by default, you can opt into caching when using the get method. Let me show you how this works. Let's create a new folder called time in our app directory and add a route.ts file. So time slash route.ts. Here is a simple get handler. This endpoint returns the current time in JSON format. If you navigate to localhost 3000 slash time in the browser, you will see the current time in hours, 11.45, a.m. Each reload will show you the latest time since there is no caching by default, and this is exactly what we want in this case. Now let's look at a scenario where caching makes perfect sense. Within the app folder, create a new folder called categories with a route.ts file. Define and export a get handler function. So export async function get, and we have an array of four categories, each with an ID and a name. We return the array in JSON format. We've hardcoded the categories data for simplicity, but in a real world scenario, this data would typically come from a database. Since this data rarely changes, every request to this endpoint will trigger a database query, which is inefficient. To avoid this, we can use caching. We'll add a configuration option at the top of the file. Export const dynamic is equal to force static. This ensures that the response is cached and served instantly to all users. However, we can't test this route handler because there is no dynamic data in this response. Let's add the same configuration to the time route handler and test that instead. Export const dynamic force static. Now navigate to slash time in your browser. You will see the current time 11.49.31 a.m. If you reload the page, you will still see the time change. This is because there's no caching during development. Let's build the app using npm run build and start it using npm run start. Now navigate to slash time. The time is 11.49.58 a.m. The time remains the same on reloads. Refresh, and you can see the time does not change. This time refers to the time when the app was built. If you come back to the browser and navigate to slash time after 10 minutes, you will still see the same time. It changes only when the application is rebuilt. But what if we want to update our data without rebuilding the entire application? Well, you can revalidate cached data using incremental static regeneration. At the top of the file, we will add export const revalidate is equal to 10. This will revalidate the data every 10 seconds. When you run npm run build, the route handler code is generated with the time of the build. When you run npm run start, all requests made to slash time are cached and instantaneous. After 10 seconds has passed, the next request will still show the cached stale page while a new version of the code is generated in the background with the latest timestamp. Now, when you reload again, the updated timestamp is shown for the next 10 seconds. And this process repeats. This is how you revalidate cached route handlers in the app router. It is worth noting that caching only works with get methods. Other HTTP methods like post, put, or delete are never cached. Additionally, if you're using dynamic functions like headers and cookies, or working with the request object in your get method, caching won't be applied. I hope this gives you a good understanding of how caching works in route handlers. We have one final topic to cover in this section, so let's keep going. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe, it helps a lot.